Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is day six of Junk Journal, 12 Days of Junk Journal Gift Ideas. This is a collaboration with a few members of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. I started this a couple years ago with Rachel Reed, and then I've continued it on over the past three years now, so this is our third year doing it. So today it's about embellishments or handmade little clusters or cluster embellishments, depending on how you want to describe those. Those are what we're going to do today. I've, I've got a few supplies laid out here. So the first thing is I've just got a dictionary page. It's kind of yellow, just a little bit. It's kind of vintage. It's thin, but I'm going to go ahead and alter it just a little bit. I've got the postcard, postscript collage, postscript collage by Beeline Designs. It's a rubber stamp that I offer in my shop. But look at your stamps and see what you could use as a background. This won't be seen a whole lot, but I just like the idea that it obscures the text underneath. I'm using sepia archival ink, sepia, over the top of it because I wanted that dark brown on top of it instead of the black. Okay, so I've just stamped all over on this, and the next thing that I want to do with this piece is I'm going to tear this into smaller squares so that they will fit on the page, page or piece that I'm going to use for the embellishment. So I'm just going to line up my ruler with the edge here and just rip this. I want to make sure that you keep that ruler pressed down really hard or it will slide out and you'll have issues. See, I didn't press down hard enough, and so it slid out. <laughs> there we go. But I got it. So I'm going to tear these into two and a quarter inch squares. All right, now that I've got some squares torn, I'm going to use some Distress ink in Walnut Stain and go around the edges really fast. While I've got the distressing ink out, I have some two and a half inch squares. This was some not so pretty cardstock. It's kind of a weird golden brown color, but I knew it would be a good foundation. So I'm using these to build my embellishment clusters. All right, then I've got a few calico collage images here. So these are domino size images. It's the Sweet Elegance Domino Size, and I thought those would be really cute to use. So I'm going to add some Distress Inks around the edges of these. And then I've got some words. This was a file that the pictures or the words were huge. So, for example, this is the original size of the Gratitude, and they're a lot larger. But what I did was I told my computer to print these as the eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper as a five by seven image. And that altered the size and shrunk them down so I could use them for these embellishments. All right, so now that I've got some distress inks on these, I've got these little squares, I've got these little book page squares, but I wanna change them one more level. I'm gonna add some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist to them. So I'm just gonna lay these in my little box here. It's just a box so that when I spray, the spray doesn't go everywhere. And I've got a Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This one's called Brass Peacock. It's part of the Christmas Peacock Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist Kit that I have in my shop to go with the Christmas Peacock Junk Journal. But I thought this brass kind of vintagey color would be great. So I'm just going to spritz over all of those. They're going to curl up a little bit. I'm going to heat them with my heat tool and flatten them out and they'll be right back. So you can see they're starting to change a little bit. It's got a little bit of texture. Next what I'm going to do is just quickly glue these squares together. I'm just going to use a Lean's Tacky Glue and I'm not going to really worry about how much glue because I'm going to go to the sewing machine after I have all these glued together and we're going to do a zigzag stitch all the way around on these squares. All right, let's go to the sewing machine and we'll sew around these squares. So I'm just using a standard sewing machine. It's got a regular needle in it. I've got it set up with black thread in the bobbin and in the top. 
and I'm going to do a zigzag standard stitch. I'm just going to stitch right around the edge here. When I get to the end, I'm just going to leave the needle down and raise the presser foot and rotate and then continue sewing. All right, so I've sewn all the way around all of these pieces. Let's go back to the main view. All right, so I've got a few pieces selected here. I forgot to show you all these. This is like a little label punch. It's from EK Success. It's something I picked up, I don't know, a couple of years ago. You know, if you don't have a punch like this, maybe you have a die cut machine or you can get little triangles or not triangles, rectangles and round the corners or maybe you've got a special punch that you can punch the corners to get a decorative edge. I'm going to go ahead and add some distress inks to these two pieces. All right, and then I'm going to take this image and this image from Calico Collage and I'm going to glue those in the center of those. You know, you can look for images out of old books and magazines, of course, Digital is always a lot of fun because you can reprint them and size them and do all kinds of fun things with those. All right, so now I've got those ready. I've got a few others that I have already worked on. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to add some Tulip Dimensional Glitter Paint to these. So I'm going to take my Tulip Dimensional Glitter Paint. This has the Scrap Perfect nib on here. And what I'm going to do is just kind of go around the outside perimeter and kind of do a little squiggles on the flowers. And then I'll just add just a touch of sparkle to this image. It'll take just a couple of minutes for that to dry. While that's drying, we'll move on and work on the other elements. So I've got these little word phrases here that I shrunk down. And so what I'm gonna do is I wanna add a little bit of lace to them. So I've got some a crew cotton lace that I picked up a while back. I think this is some that I got at Dollar Tree. Yeah, for like a dollar for three yards. So I'm going to cut a piece for each one of these. I'm cutting it just a little bit longer than the word. Then I'm going to take my Aline's Tacky Glue and make a little bead of glue on the back side and then lay that lace right into that glue. So I'll do that to the other one and then it'll be ready for me to start layering these together. I've got some thread here. If y'all didn't know, thread does get old. It becomes brittle, and if you try to sew on your sewing machine with really old thread, you'll have thread breaks. So to keep from having that frustration, I am using the thread up by making what I call little thread nests. So I just grab a little bundle of it. I'm gonna take one of these pieces and I'm looking at this to decide which way I want it. I think I'm going to put this image somewhat down here in the corner. So I'm going to take my glue and just make a little swirl. So that'll kind of pick up some of those threads to keep them from falling off the page. This is still just a little bit wet, but I'm going to be real careful and just put glue on it. Oh, I went too far down. I meant to go the other way. So I'm going to position this little piece kind of in the corner, hanging off just a little bit. So I'll press that down. All right, and then I'll use the Cherish. I think I'm going to put it, let's put it, I'm trying to decide if I want to change my mind. I'm going to put it up here. So I'm going to make sure I don't put the glue right here on this edge because I'm going to have it slide off or hang off the edge. But I can put it on the inside more. And let's just put it right about there. And then I've got this little bitty heart punch that I picked up a long time ago. It says Tim Holtz Sizzix, but it's a little bitty punch that makes a heart that's like half an inch in size. So I'm going to take this and add a little drop of glue and stick it down in this area over here. All right, I'm just kind of pressing this together. All right, so we're getting so far. And then I'm going to add a little pearl. So I've got these flat back rhinestone pearls. I'm going to use my scissors to pop one off the backer. And we're going to put one right there. So there is one little embellishment that I made. So let's make a couple more. And then I'll show you how I use them in my junk journal projects. 
I didn't mention this earlier, but I will rotate the text so it's going in not a readable direction, so to speak. So instead of it being like left to right, I'll do it up and down. And then that way it kind of obscures the words just a little bit more and just makes a cool background. So there are the little cluster embellishments that I made just now adding all of those little pieces together that's some of the designs and then i've got a few more that i made there was 24 images so i made more bloom exquisite this one i used a beeline designs um, rubber stamp on top of the domino image it was a plain image so i just added that on top a couple more another one where i added a rubber stamped butterfly this one I added a little birdie another bird and I put the tulip dimensional glitter paint on them. I just love it add just a little bit of sparkle to these so you got lots of little embellishments so let me show you how I use them in a junk journal so here is a junk journal page and I had some strips of book page some washi tape and then this was a strip left over from when I cut all of the squares to two and a half inches and I ended up using a piece of fabric and then one of the embellishments right here on the front I made a little journal card this one I use a piece of fabric a book page scrap another rubber stamped image for this little embellishment and then this is a scrapbook piece of paper that I made into a journal page. And then on the inside, I used a couple more of the images here and here. And I made some little journal cards and tags to go inside. And then on the back side, I made one of those into an altered paper clip. So we've got the paper clip here, slip that over the page, and then here's another journal card that I made. So I hope that you are inspired to get out your supplies and make some little embellishment clusters to use in your junk journal gifts and projects you know you can bundle these up put some ribbon around them put them inside a pretty envelope and then pass those along to your friends and then they can use them any way they choose they can glue them down like i did directly to a page make a journal card out of a tuck spot whatever it they desire well I hope you'll check the other videos that are being produced by members of the Friendly Junk Journal people. There's a link in the description box to the Facebook group, uh, all of the videos, and then I've been adding them to the 12 Days of Junk Journal Gift Ideas playlist that I have, which will show up at the end of this video. So you can just kind of go through and watch all of the videos from past years and the current one as well. All right, everybody, check the description box below for links. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You know, if you like something that someone is doing on YouTube, share that video so that they can be seen by other people. And make sure that you comment, give them a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. All right, everybody, have a fabulous day. Come back tomorrow for day seven. Bye.